Sometimes in life, we are presented with situations that cause us to have to either elevate ourselves, kind of take ourselves down and take ourselves out of a situation, or completely rework how we normally handle things because that's what the situation calls for. Throughout this movie, we are introduced to inspirational moments, some heart-wrenching moments, some heart-warming moments, and definitely moments of growth. By the end of this film, we learn that we are more than just the sum of our parts. Everything is not as what it seems with people and we should never just judge people outright just because of how they look or how they talk. Let's get into this. What's up everyone? Thank you for joining me on another video today. I'm happy to be presenting this review because this review is the first review from my first official press screening and I am feeling pretty ecstatic about it. It was awesome to go in there and have a card with my name on it and to go through the whole process. Directed by Chris Sanders, this movie, The Wild Robot, was far better than I was expecting and I think a lot of other people were expecting as well. I didn't think that it was going to be bad, but rather I thought it was going to be really good. I just didn't expect that it was going to be as good as it was. It was emotional, it was engaging, it was funny, it was very well written. The animation was so crisp and looked so well done. The way how this story went with the main robot, Roz, voiced by Lupita Nyong'o, it was just amazing to, one, hear her do this voice and do this robot such justice and conveying emotion throughout the, the movie with this robot, but also just the way how the story was made. Overall, I will say it was very predictable of a movie, but it still was done very well. The execution was damn near flawless. There are some issues that I have with it, but nothing too crazy that would take away from the overall aspect of the movie. The basic premise of this movie is Roz, who is a robot based for etiquette and to help out human beings to advance and do whatever they need to do, household chores, take care of the family, help the family spend more time together. This robot was lost on an island and in order to properly reach the potential that this robot was made for, there needs to be a task that needs to be done. Being lost on an island with a bunch of animals, obviously no one can tell you what needs to be done. Throughout the movie, well, as you see in the trailers and everything, there is something, a task that this robot ends up taking on, and it is probably the most important task that this robot could have ever imagined that it would have to undertake. So along the way, Roz meets various characters, including Fink, who is voiced by Pedro Pascal, and Bright Bill, who you will meet in the movie, was voiced by Kit Connor. We have Katherine O'Hara, Ving Rhames, Mark Hamill, Matt Berry, Stephanie Hisu, Kit Connor, and so many more. There were multiple messages within this movie, but one of the main ones that I really took away from this movie, which I believe I mentioned earlier in this video, is the fact that you are not just the sum of your parts. You are not just here to do whatever other people tell you to do. And that's another thing. You were made for more in the grand aspect of life in general. Just because people say certain things to you or try to put you in a box or put you in something and just make you feel like you are just ordered to do this one thing and that's that. Another great lesson from this is despite whatever issues you might have with someone, despite whether or not you like them or not, despite whether or not you're talking or not, when things happen within life and if you are together or surrounded by people and that's the case, sometimes you're gonna have to suck that up to get through whatever situation life has handed to you and the group of people that you're associated with. Sometimes we have to just swallow our pride and our ego to get along, to get to the next level, to get to the next place, to get past whatever issue that is before us. I think everybody should go and see this because this movie has a lot of elements to it that you wouldn't really expect just from watching the trailer. Even when you go in to watch this movie and you're sitting there and you're watching everything happen, you're listening to the humor, you're listening to everything go on and you see the cute animals and everything, you don't really expect to feel what you feel by the end of this movie. There were several times throughout the film where, you know, I heard a couple people sniffle a little bit and hell, I sniffled a few times. It was just such a heartwarming feeling watching this movie, especially with a lot of different things that have been going on within my life the past few weeks. It's been uh, pretty intense to see this movie and to feel the way I felt watching this movie it was just like it came at the right time and again it was a phenomenal time in the theater the whole crowd was reacting to the movie there were just some issues with some people behind us that were commenting on every single thing that happened oh wow there's a wolf 
and the wolf is doing this. Like that didn't happen in the movie, but I'm just saying like that's literally what they did at almost every moment. So that was kind of annoying. Other than that, the, the, the experience was great. One of my slight negatives would be that, that there was just so much more that could have been expanded on in this movie and I would have loved to see some expansion on various things within the story. Runtime was a little bit short, but it, at the same time, it was good just the way it was. You know, I just person that's just personally what I would want from this movie a little bit more if there was anything more to add. Other than that, I had a great time with this film. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you are if you aren't subscribed to this channel, please hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it so you can get a notification anytime there's a new video. Thanks so much again for watching. Until the next one. Thank <laughs> you.